Hello, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, the topic of discussion is especially relevant and closely connected to those in the coding world. If there's a need to handle some front-end design for coding, or animations and transitions are required on the front-end, and you're someone who feels completely disconnected from the AI domain, yet asking ChatGPT for animations, what happens is that it ends up generating non-functional or placeholder animations in JavaScript. In response, it offers multiple suggestions, such as using natural or similar code snippets. But in the end, as a creative, whether a front-end developer or design specialist, you might not understand the technical language. For this situation, there's a helpful shortcut, AnimeJS. AnimeJS is a comprehensive animation engine, a fast and adaptable JavaScript library designed to animate the web. Run the command npm install AnimeJS, and from that point, it's ready for immediate use. Looking at AnimeJS in the long term, it provides a remarkable level of flexibility. It offers an impressive level of versatility and ease of use. This all-in-one animation engine is both fast and adaptable. The JavaScript library allows access to a wide range of features, enabling all related design tasks to be handled efficiently. The quality of transitions and the availability of a 3D website to generate interactive elements are evident. As the page is scrolled, a toolbox appears, providing access to timelines, SVG animations, spring-based effects, timers, draggable elements, scroll scope, and many other options. In addition to that, it emphasizes the idea of breaking free from browser limitations and animating anything on a web with a single API. You can see, this is our full engine with an intuitive API. You can copy any content from this section and utilize it. An enhanced transform feature is also provided in case there's a need to apply any specific transition. By selecting the desired option, it becomes ready for use. Additionally, it's possible to customize and apply individual CSS transforms as needed. It offers an impressive level of versatility and ease of use. This all-in-one animation engine is both fast and adaptable. The JavaScript library allows access to a wide range of features, enabling all related design tasks to be handled efficiently. The quality of transitions and the availability of a 3D website to generate interactive elements are evident. As the page is scrolled, a toolbox appears, providing access to timelines, SVG animations, spring-based effects, timers, draggable elements, scroll scope, and many other options. In addition to that, it emphasizes the idea of breaking free from browser limitations and animating anything on a web with a single API. You can see, this is our full engine with an intuitive API. You can copy any content from this section and utilize it. An enhanced transform feature is also provided in case there's a need to apply any specific transition. By selecting the desired option, it becomes ready for use. Additionally, it's possible to customize and apply individual CSS transforms as needed. This section offers a direct option to begin animating right away. Within the animation interface, rather than a list format, various features like scroll animations, animation timeline, and timers are displayed. Examining the timer, multiple functionalities are available, such as loop delay, alternate or reverse options, and autoplay. Any of these can be applied as needed. For instance, if none of those options are required, switching to the animation section allows access to the target option. After selecting the target, a CSS selector can be specified. Following that, DOM elements can be defined, and then a JavaScript script can be applied. So the sequence becomes target option, CSS selector, DOM elements, and then the JavaScript logic to animate, including actions like moving the cursor. By navigating to the settings, the animate configuration can be reviewed. The move cursor option demonstrates how to animate pointer movement. This involves using the select query feature, copying the code, and integrating it. This can be implemented not only within HTML, but also across other components. This can also be used directly within JavaScript. To enable this, the API needs to be installed. The installation process is straightforward. Even in the compact version, all the core features are available at scale. For instance, there's control over duration. If there's a need to trigger a feature after each second or adjust its speed, it can be configured accordingly. Once set, the corresponding code can be copied and reused. There are no restrictions on this usage since a wide range of capabilities is accessible. The available version is 4.12 and the documentation can be referred to for further clarity. For the setup process, there's no need to focus on keys. Simply use npm install animate.js or animate.js install. After installation, the module should be imported into the file. Then it's just a matter of copying the required component, such as the timeline. This timeline code example would have already been imported earlier, and now it can be directly inserted and used. This can be placed and used directly, making it a highly scalable and effective variation. It's fully adaptable for larger projects. 
For instance, navigating to the End section reveals that all available options are completely free. There's no need to purchase any editor or animation software. The process is simple. Copy and paste the required tools, and a variety of options will be instantly accessible. This method is suitable for integrating into platforms like ChatGPT, where one can prompt the generation of specific elements, say, a scroll bar. Suppose a scroll bar is generated, and the requirement is to attach a video to it. In such a case, there's a chance that an AI tool might not deliver the precise animation needed. This is why using this particular tool is recommended. It automatically incorporates various scroll bars and related features. Here, scroll bar related HTML and CSS code is readily available, which can be directly injected into the desired section. These files can be inserted to trigger the animation and bring it to life. Hopefully, you found this video informative. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay updated with the latest uploads and newly released content.